Oof. <laughs> oh, you you hit. That sounded hard. <laughs> it was fairly hard. Um, uh, let me say hi for my video. Um, we're gonna go kill the dragon. And, um, hang on a sec. Stupid portal so loud. Okay. So, um, the dragon's already been killed in this world, as you know. So it's not exactly like, you know, like if you were to go in the first time, um, mm -hmm. things should be substantially easier than if, uh, if, if this were the first time we were going in and there's two of us, which should help. Um, and the reason that we're doing this is cause I added the command block so that the dragon drops an elytra when it's killed. And uh, I've tested it, and it does indeed work. And so I have an elytra for myself. And they're a bunch of fun, so I figured you probably want one too. Heck yeah, I'm ready to fly. So let's go into the end. So I don't know how, how much you've been in here. Oh, I, I need to go over and light that area up. That's yeah, I actually came out facing those Enderman with my cursor right over one. I yeah. They did an aggro. Yeah, unfortunately, they changed it, so you pretty much have to look them in the eyes for them to go. Oh, somebody's a little PO'd. Um, so you have, to, you have to pretty much look them in the face now. Uh, but, okay, so End Island is lit up pretty darn well. The... Oh, um, let me do this real quick. Ender chest. So I have some end crystals, which we need. Come on, pick up. And I'll put in on the bar here. So the way this works, so we go over to the end, the exit portal here, and I will place end crystals, four end crystals around the portal. And, uh, oh, and, and just so everyone's aware, the reason I added the, the, uh, drag and drop command block is because, and you and I have talked about this, come to the conclusion mm -hmm. that the way the end loot, especially the elytra and the shulker boxes are balanced is very much, uh, not balanced for multiplayer servers. The, uh, end cities are kind of ridiculously rare and the end ships are especially so. So, uh, so I think in the interest of everyone having fun on the server, uh, having, getting the elytra from a dragon fight, isn't a bad way to go. Um, and it, because it's a, it's a challenging, difficult thing. Uh, so it's not like you're, you know, we're just cheating them in. Um, so I think it's, I think it's a good solution. So what's going to happen when I put the end crystals around the portal, one on each of the, of the long sides, right? One, two, three, four. What's going to happen is the portal will deactivate. Lights will, beams of light will shine up in the sky. And then they'll start going out to the tops of each of these obsidian pillars. And the end crystals <clears throat> that were on top of the obsidian pillars will respawn. Okay. And each one, it'll, it'll explode. And I think the first one to respawn will be this one over here where there are some Endermen on top. It'll be either that one or the one to the right of it. And then you, <clears throat> then you notice the one, two over to the right of that, the one where I have the torches on the side, mm -hmm. there's iron bars up there. And then one across the other way has iron bars on it. So the, the end crystals will spawn one at a time. And then on those two, they'll be surrounded by iron bars, which is a little bit trickier. So 
then after all the end crystals are restored then the dragon will actually show up and start flying around um, okay. there there are a few endermen around but because of the lighting there's not a lot and those endermen will come down and they'll start going after the dragon and if you happen to be between the dragon and them it'll look like they're coming for you but they're not um, because they really hate the dragon so the dragon will kill them and the dragon will try to kill you um, so the dragon will fly around the rain attack, I assume yeah yeah he shoots fireballs Okay. And just like the gas, he shoots the fireballs at where you are, not where you're going. So if you keep moving, the fireballs are not going to be a problem. Cool. Where the fireballs hit on the ground, it does knock out torches. Um, it also spreads dragon's breath, which if you stay in it will hurt you. Not a lot, but just a little bit. It's like poison. So Is that a, a visible area of effect on the ground, I assume? Yeah, there's particles. You'll see it. So stay out of that stuff, or if you find yourself just taking damage for no obvious reason, look down because you're probably standing in some dragon's breath. Okay. And if I had thought about it, I should have brought some uh, some empty bottles because you can collect the dragon's breath. But mm. um, so, and then the dragon will fly around. The dragon will try and swoop at you. If the dragon hits you, or me, just the player in general, can knock you up in the air, potentially knocking you off to the side as well. Uh, worst case scenario is the dragon then tries to knock you off the edge of the island. Um, that's bad. So you want to make sure that you can get to your uh, you can get to your ender pearls so that you can throw it back up to the island. And then periodically the dragon will fly in and sit on top of the portal. So when he's flying around, you can shoot arrows at him. When he's sitting on the portal, you can't, the, the arrows will just bounce off. But the thing is, as long as his end crystal's left, he's just going to re, he's just going to recover health anyway. He's just going to, he's just going to heal up. So there's no point in attacking him until we get rid of all the end crystals. And so, the end crystals, we just have to shoot arrows at from down here? Or yeah. The plan? And then the two that have the, uh, the iron bars around them. I'm you got to you got to pillar up to you. So here's what I'm planning on doing. I'll put down this last one. It'll start going through the sequence. I'll go over to this pillar over here, which will be like the second one to to mm -hmm. uh, regenerate. I will pillar up and take out the end crystal before the dragon actually hopefully before the dragon actually respawns. So that okay. one is down. This one over here this one's a that one's tricky so i'm gonna have to do that one during the fight so what you can do is just immediately start trying to take out the crystals on top of the pillars that aren't in the iron cages got it just shoot them with arrows and just shoot them with arrows this one here insanely tricky because of how yeah. tall it is because it's hard to see the crystal up on top so you kind of have to lob it up and over. I It might be best to sort of start with that one. Uh, and unfor okay. unfortunately, I'm not going to get up high enough pillaring up to either of the two with the bars to actually do any better. Mm. So that that's the tricky one. And that may be the one that, you know, either if you can deal with that one first, great. Otherwise, we'll then concentrate on it last. Can we pillar up to it and take it out? Yeah, the... the the, well, okay, so they explode when you break them. <laughs> so if you're standing oh. on top of it and and you break it, you it can kill you pretty quickly. Um, so the what ones if we like ladder up one of these and then have a, a higher vantage point at it. That that might help. The problem is, the higher up you are, the easier it is for the dragon to hit you. Okay. He because he will try and swoop for you, and then you'll do you know you take more damage when you fall. Uh, yeah. Water bucket can be useful for breaking your fall. Um, it's a little tricky, but if you're looking down and you do that, or if you ender pearl, it'll get you down on the ground. Although you take damage based on the velocity that you're going when you ender pearl. Okay. So, so anyway, I'll put this one down. Um, and then just you can watch the sequence and see the the crystals start to regen i'm going to try and break this one here right away and then then we'll just concentrate on breaking the crystals once they're all down 
then when the dragon swoops in and sits on top of the portal, that's the best time to come in and, and attack him with melee. Okay. Um, but you have to be, you want to avoid his face, his head, his tail, and his wings. So the best mm. place to go in is like in between the tail and the wings from behind. Okay. Um, and, and he's immune to range at that point? He's immune to arrows at that point. Okay. So it's, you know, it's all pain. You'll see. It's, and fortunately, because this is all lit up, the Enderman, there will be Enderman showing up because they'll, you can see there's a few of them at the top of some of the pillars and they'll come down to join the fray so just be careful and if you find an enderman is on you you can just dump down water and stand in the water um and that'll so, keep the enderman away yeah they won't go into the water because they take damage they'll okay. they'll stand at the edge of the water and just scream at you and is there any way we can make like a quick little escape hut that we can hide in for whatever reason or um you can hide yeah. from the enderman unfortunately when the dragon flies through any bricks that any blocks that aren't end stone um bedrock or obsidian they get destroyed okay so if you build a like a stone brick hut the dragon can fly through hit you and destroy your hut what if I made an obsidian hut? If you, yeah, but then it'll take you forever to get out of it. it <laughs> in theory, that would work. the The dragon could still fly through it and hit you. He just won't destroy the hut. It it would okay. keep the Enderman for away from you, though. So, and then yeah, I'm partially curious about the Enderman. Yeah, th there won't be too many of them. Um, some of these torches will get knocked out. And I don't think we'll have any spawns going on down here. It'll mostly be there are spots where the Enderman can spawn and they will run up to try and kill the dragon. Okay. So they should mostly be a non-factor. Cool. So there we go. That's our little strategy. I'll probably trim that out from the video because it's <laughs> better to just go show the fight. Um, it should be pretty straightforward. Um, Oh. That is hoping to last a little bit longer than I did uh, against the Guardian. Yeah, just if you keep moving, you'll be okay. Um, you got the golden apples, so just keep an eye on your health and just just keep eating. You got 32 apples. You should That should be plenty. You can just keep eating. The apples will give you absorption hearts as well. Um, okay. the, big, the, the one big scary risk is you getting knocked off the island into the void, and that's what your ender pearls are for last ditch hail mary trying to get the ender pearl back onto the island so okay you ready as ready as i'll ever be okay here we go and boom and it should be starting there we go And the reason that I can pillar up and break these uh, ones with iron bars is because if I go...
I was thinking you have this big huge castle, but you don't have a throne room. I do not have a throne room. Okay, so like if you wanted to say build an elytra launcher here, where are you? Oh. One thing you can do? Do you have any rockets on you? I do not. Here, let me let me throw you a few here. Um and you may want to just jump off of things and glide a little bit before you get into the rockets. But our little uh, spider web here. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. So you can, you can get into flying mode while you're falling in a spider web. <laughs> hmm, doesn't seem to work for me. Are you standing on the ground? Uh, I'm still falling in the spider web. Oh, hit the space bar so you go into your flight position. Yeah. Didn't seem to work. And then look up. And then. Well. Oh, you you weren't in flight mode there. So watch, watch what happens. Just watch me. So if I jump onto the spider webs and then I hit, now I'm flying, even though I'm still falling. Oh, I must have, I waited too long. So do you have to aim up with the rocket? Is that how it works? Yeah, the rocket boosts you in the direction that you're facing. But you have to be flying. You can't do it from there. Well, I'm just trying to see if I can do it from, from a standstill. You're not going to be able to. Why not? Because it's too hard. If you have a block up, like on the stairs, you might be able to. There you go. I wasn't even on the stairs. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. I have footage. Liar. I have footage. I'm recording. Lies. Oh my gosh, I'm on the top of my tower. So now there's particles that stream out in, in your face. And you, they'll they'll go for the duration of the rock of the firework. How do I okay, I am flying. <laughs> for a second there I wasn't sure if I was actually flying or just falling really fast. <laughs> and if you wanna like ditch a lot of speed when you get on top above something. You look up and just spin around. Yeah. And that'll that'll really burn off all your speed. Uh, it's so weird watching you fly below. This is pretty awesome, I gotta say. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Here you come. Oof. <laughs> oh, you you hit that sounded hard. I, it was fairly hard. Um, yeah, thankfully I, I didn't take too much damage. Yeah, but yeah, I do notice the elytra definitely has a little bit of damage. Yeah. Um, so so now if you look at I don't know if you have the uh, the oh what do you call it the 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 durability tooltip turned on. Yeah, I'm at three forty seven of four thirty two. Sorry, three yeah three forty seven of four thirty two. Yeah. So I'm at four oh six. So the unbreaking definitely helps. Um, I think you can repair the elytra with uh, leather. Hmm. I think it's leather. Well, mending will, will, will take care of it, right? Yes, but it'll be more expensive oh. to put the mending on when you have, uh, when it's got damage. <laughs> and you'll see, even without the rockets, by tilting down a little bit to get a little bit of speed and then tilting up you can oh. you can maintain altitude pretty well over long periods of time the angle that you're uh, aiming at is kind of important yeah
Oh, I'm running out of rockets. Yeah, I just ran out. Oh, and you can fly underwater too. Oops. Oh, shoot. Oh, nice. I just made it to your place. <laughs> there you go. That's that's awesome. That's a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, it is. And I, I'm now happy that I have basically, you know, my, my front porch is here. <laughs> All I have to yeah. do is jump off and fly. Yeah, I wonder if I can make it to my house without rockets. I don't think I could. It, that might be a little tough. You could definitely make it to the community area, but... Yeah. Well, I guess I'll go community portal, and then... But you know what? While I'm at your place, I'll just go down and get the uh, the mending and... Uh, yeah. I'm breaking for this bad boy. It's like 15 emeralds. <laughs> so... Oh. I, I think... Uh, I, I think uh, I've... Tons. <laughs> Mending for 10. I think of my mending guys wants 10 and Yeah, he's 10 and the unbreaking is the unbreaking guys pretty cheap, too And he's full on breaking. What is it? I'm breaking three Yeah, it's a shame you can't use them while we're also wearing your your armor. Yeah, and I it would be nice I don't know if they'll actually do it but it would be nice if future update they make some sort of craftable armored elytra or something like that yeah or who knows whoa we got, you got a slime in your hallway uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. goes through a slime chunk it's like a greeter <laughs> so i see now i just need to find the uh new location for everybody. So let me grab my toolbox, which has my books in it. I'll need two of those bad boys. I think I think the mending guy is definitely on the bottom floor. He might be in the fourth, the the second set of uh, of stalls. Um, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, so what would be kind of mean would be to put Cursive Binding on, uh, yeah, actually, they're both right over here. So the Mending Guy wants 10. I'm breaking 3 wants 27, which isn't super cheap, but it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, and with, with all the emeralds I have from all the trading I've been doing. And I'm up to no. 5 Iron Golems. Jeez. Oh, six. Nope, I've got six. Yep, Good one, God. two, three, four, five, six. Ugh. That is uh, a little on the ridiculous side. Well, it's going to make it difficult to, to extract some of these guys because they got a full 19 villagers. I got two white coats. Let's see what, uh, what they are. Ooh, hopefully something good. This guy's a cartographer. Don't need any more of those. No, the one we have is almost useless as it is. Actually, I only have one white coat. Okay, well, I'll have to spend some time managing the villagers, but... Yeah, so... Gosh, these guys are noisy. <laughs> 